Welcome to the KB200 installation. We've hit the fast forward switch for the installation of the new KB200 because it's quick and so easy. You'll also get an idea of how incredibly strong and stable it is. We recommend wearing protective eye gear when installing Koala Baby changing stations. Grab your tools and let's get started. Now unseal the KB200 box and remove the contents. Enclosed is the bed and metal mounting chassis, which is one piece, wall mount liner dispenser, and two kits, an installation kit and an operator kit clearly printed on the bags of the kits. Give the operator kit to the facility manager or operator. Watch as our installer does the unthinkable and actually reads the instructions in which she finds the correct mounting height to meet the ADA requirement. Please note masonry, tile, metal stud or concrete block has a different installation and is described in the installation instruction. Use a stud finder to locate the studs and mark the location with a pencil. To meet the ADA requirement, measure 44 and a quarter inches from the floor on stud center to what will be the top screw. Having located the studs, measure across 16 inches, the mounting distance horizontally between the screws. After ensuring the location and making sure the mounting holes are level, drill two pilot holes with an eighth inch regular drill bit. The installation hardware for the frame includes six screws and four washers. Screw two of the mounting screws into the pilot holes, leaving one quarter inch exposed. The packaged product has two pieces, the bed and metal mounting chassis and the wall mount liner dispenser. By opening the metal mounting chassis, remove the wall mount liner dispenser and place it aside. Lifting the bed and metal mounting chassis, the installer rests the chassis keyhole slots on the exposed mounting screws. Gosh, those keyholes make installation easy. A level is used to ensure the unit is mounted straight. Next, the four remaining pilot holes are drilled using the holes in the chassis as a template. Lastly, four screws and four washers complete the installation of the frame. Note the four differences between the KB100 to the KB200. First, the mounting distance vertically from the floor is now 44 and a quarter inches to meet the ADA requirement for the KB200. Second, the measurement horizontally is 16 inches on stud center, not 32 inches. Thirdly, six screws, not four, are required for mounting the KB200. And finally, only the bottom four screws require washers. Covering that strong chassis, the wall mount liner dispenser is positioned for attachment. The Bobra key that is taped to the unit is removed to unlock the liner dispenser lid, letting the lid rest against the bed. This is necessary to access the holes in the wall mount liner dispenser to affix it to the chassis using the screws provided. When all four screws have been fastened, the liner dispenser lid is repositioned and locked. With a gentle but authoritative touch, check that the attachment is complete. To verify the shock is operating properly, the bed should open and close smoothly. Next, wipe the outside and inside of the unit with a clean cloth to remove any debris. Clean your work area and give the operator kit and the extra key to the operator. 